So I got a phone call from a customer last week and they purchased a piece of property and they do not know where the well is. So basically the well is potentially buried in the ground in the yard and due to the age of the home there are no records. So what I'm going to go out to do today is locate the well and dig it up. I'm going to try two different methods. One method I know will work and one method is the old school way. I'm gonna use my underground cable locator and from there, I know I can find it. So stay tuned, this is gonna be a good one. Well, I'm here at the job and I wanna show y'all. This is basically what the land looks like. They have taken, looks like a bulldozer and they have plowed absolutely everything off. So there is no way I can look at the original lay of the land and make an assessment from that. Typically you can, you know, look at the yard and follow the depression from the house out to a spot, but it's all brand new, so it is what it is. Well, I'm under the house now. Uh, they are doing a full remodel, so a lot of the stuff about this house has been removed. Now, the first thing that we wanna do, we wanna make sure that there's no power on these wires. Looks like it's got nothing. We're going to go ahead and test it to ground. Make sure nothing crazy is happening. Okay, nothing there. We're going to move over to the other side to ground. And yeah, this is point one two, so not even a bolt. Okay, good. Now, we know definitively that the power is off. And we're going to remove the wire that's going to feed power out to the well pump and we're just going to take it out from underneath the switch and we're going to leave it pulling out like so we're going to take our underground cable locator over here and we're going to connect it we're going to connect it to that wire and send the signal through it so this here is my grounding we're going to take this i'm going to push this deep into the ground okay and take one of our clamps clamp it on the ground and we're going to come over here so this is going to be our signal we know that doesn't have power so we're going to clamp that clamp on that wire there and when i flip this switch it's going to be sending that pulsating signal through that wire and i'm going to use my wand to go find it all right so I'm outside, I've got all this area that the well could be, and I don't know where it is. It makes it even worse now that it's been cleared off with the dozer. But we know, based on where the plumbing exited, it exited somewhere in this corner. So it 90 straight down. So it could go this way, or it could come out this way. So what we want to do, we want to start closest to the house. And we listen for the dead signal. There it went. That's it right there. All right, so our first signal is right here. I just had to, I had, I had the strength up too high. So we're gonna take one flag. We're gonna put one flag right there. And we're gonna turn it back on. What we're gonna continue to do, we're gonna continue to mark this from this point on. You, you should be able to hear every time the signal dies down. All right, so we got a dead signal there. Not too shabby. I think we're slowly figuring out a line of sight as far as where this thing is going to be okay um i'm getting mixed signals here i don't know if it's taking uh the signal and dispersing it through the wet soil um but i'm so far from the house i feel like i'm losing my signal strength so we're going to go into the house now we're going to change up the uh, program and we're going to see if we can send a stronger signal through multiple wires because right now at this point i'm about 140 feet from the house and i'm on the edge of the woods I get a really strong signal and then I get a weak signal for about 20 feet. 
so I don't really know exactly where to dig. So I'm going to change my wires and see what happens. Is I have this ground wire here. I'm going to go ahead and strip it out. And I've got that black wire there. So we're going to go ahead and send a signal through all three of those wires. Okay, I've got all three wires twisted together. I'm going to take that and make sure that's nice and clean. Take that, clamp it on there, give it a, give it a nice little twist to make sure it's on there good. Now, I don't know anything about this system right now. The system doesn't run. So potentially the wire could be broken in the ground and I could be depleting my signal out into the ground and wherever the signal gets weak and it stops is where it's broken. Or it also could be where it stops and gets weak is the well. But there's like a 20 foot area out there where, where I'm still getting a signal and it's weak. So I can't dig up a 20 foot section. So I really need to pinpoint it a little bit better. Because I get my last strong signal right in this area. Is I'm going to get a shovel and I'm going to dig right here. I'm going to sit here and continue to dig for about 20 minutes. And then I'll show you the uh, final results, whether I find a pipe or a wire or the well. All right, I've been at it for about 10 minutes at this point. That's how deep my hole is. I don't know if you can tell. Now, if you take the wand, now watch this. Okay, need to formulate a new game plan because I have dug this hole for going on 25 minutes. It's very deep. I've expanded it wider. I haven't found any wire. All I can say is this thing is either here or as deep as I don't know what. So, because it's like literally the depth of the wand at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to where I get a stronger signal closer to the house. I'm going to dig down, see how deep the water line is first. And I'm not going to try to find the, the well at this point. I'm going to try to access the water line. And then I'm going to dig down and cut the water line and send a metal snake through it and figure out the distance and how far it goes until it stops. That should tell me exactly where the well is. Like, so here is my hole. And then if we move over here, it's literally 10 feet. This is my last strong signal. But if we move forward another 20 feet, I have even stronger signals coming from the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig right here. That way I can at least figure out the depth of the pipe. Since I know that this is where it's at. Alright, so I finally have a little bit of good news. So we have the house there. We come here. I dug down, and look, this is what we found. I found a conduit pipe. I found the old wire right here. And then I also found this. That looks like maybe three-quarter inch black roll pipe. And some more wire. So we've got a lot going on here. It's weird how there's conduit in the ground here. All right, so 50 feet from the house. It's our first hole where we see conduit, wire, and pipe. We're going to travel on here 20 feet. This is the second area where I have exposed the pipe, the conduit, and the old wire. And then I move 10 feet to my original giant hole. And I extended it further over that way, trying to find the conduit and the wire and the pipe. But guess what? It's not there. So literally between here and there, the well must be somewhere in this spot. So I wanted to um, get the dowsing rods out and see if the dowsing rods will actually kind of mitigate a uh, X marks the spot. Since I have more or less a rough area that's 10 foot wide, I want to see if the dowsing rods will actually uh, show that. Okay, so these right here are the dowsing rods that I'm using. Just some simple old copper dowsing rods. I'm going to start over here. Now, I'm somebody who truly does not believe in these things. I understand how you can easily take these 
and basically take your hands and move them inward. So the, the idea with these is to keep them absolutely as level as possible for less resistance. Let's try right here. Nothing. Okay. <clears throat> now what we're going to do, we're going to walk from hole to hole. Get them straight. Huh. Check that out. It's literally crossing right there. I'm going to put the flag right here and we're going to dig right here just to see. Because that's literally where they crossed. So I want to see if that's literally where the well is. That would absolutely blow my mind if it was there. Because that means I found it with a $10 tool and not a $1,000 tool. But, you know, the uh, underground cable locator, it got me close. But it was weird because there's literally so much in the ground here. Um, I don't really know why it continued to the, um, you know, the, the electrical line continued to go that way. Now, I did ask the homeowner this question. I go, was there ever a shed or building back here? Because right now we have multiple pipes conduit multiple wires coming out here it almost seems like wire was going somewhere else so he did he said he did not know um he literally just purchased the property and he purchased it with the land already cleared like this so if there was a building back here that electric line went to being that i was tying onto the grounding system maybe they uh fed power out here uh and continued on and went somewhere else who knows who knows but i'm gonna go ahead now because this is only 12 inches in the ground we should find it rather quickly to be completely honest we're gonna go ahead and take our first pull our first pull is gonna lift the flag up it's gonna blow my mind if it's right here Oh my God. Oh my God. There's something buried here, guys. There is definitely something buried here. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's something that's like white plastic. I want to show you. Yeah. Oh my God, we found it. Oh my God, we found it. We found it, guys. Look at this. So this is what I was hitting right here. I don't know really what that is at this point. I still got to dig it up, but look what I found. This is an elbow that transitions over to the black roll fitting here. So, and then we have our wire. We have our pipe and we have a fitting. This is going to be our wellhead. Oh my God, I'm blown away. I really hope that you could see the um, the dowsing rods at that point. They literally crossed right there. I was trying my best to keep those things as flat as possible um, because I don't, you know, I don't believe in. I don't believe in this magic blah 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 that these things can do. I understand the theory behind it, but there's so many different variations. Like, could you imagine taking that and walking across this 300 by 300 plot of land and thinking, oh, here, it crosses here, it crosses here. You'd have, you'd have 25 flags out here. But my, uh, my meter got us close. And then when you have a really small, like 10 foot by 10 foot area to work with, and you use something like that, I, I, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I'm blown away by it. This is so cool. Okay, well, we found it. Now it's time to dig it up. 
And just for reference, my big hole that I dug is only four foot from where the well actually stopped. So I don't really know why the signal continued, but it continued on. Like there's there's a flag where uh where's it? There's a flag, the signal continued. It just continued straight on down in a straight line. So I don't know if maybe if they have a pipe that goes down there or what. But kind of crazy. All right, let's dig it up. Oh, this was the metal cover ring that was wrapped around the well. I don't really know what this is. It looks kind of like an old pot where they've taken the bottom off of it. It may have been, who knows. Um but here's the well. Not sure if you can see it. I'm going to try to cast a shadow on it to where but yeah, it's only buried about, I don't know, um 12 to 14 inches below grade. And where I originally thought that the well was, I was only four foot from it. So that's just how frustrating finding a well can be. You can sit there and dig and dig and dig and no luck. So that's why I decided to start towards the beginning, figure out the depth of the wire and the pipe. And then <clears throat> that'll give me a good reference of uh, how deep it should be out here. But I'm going to go ahead and stop here. The customer just wanted me to locate the well. And then they're going to discuss whether or not they want to raise it above the ground or abandon it completely and drill a new well. The only reason why they say that is because now that we have found where the well is, we understand how close it is to the septic field. So if we see the well here, the septic field basically ends it ends over there near that big tree and then it comes this direction and it starts more or less right there at the edge of the house so i'm gonna i'll come up here and i'll show you so this is the water line these blue flags are the water line the septic tank is right here so you see where this little shelf is this, there's like a little drop off right here. So they've dug this out and then they hit the septic tank right here. So you have a septic tank here. It'll come out this way. There'll be a distribution box. Realistically, there's probably a D box about right here. And then there's going to be drain lines running that way. So if we make a, a parallel this way and then we turn and go this way, we'll do a step count. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we're 33 feet from the edge of the drain field so in modern day today's standards that would not pass code it would be minimum uh needed 50 feet from the edge of the drain field uh or i think you'd have to have like 50 foot uh or more of grout and casing so but this is all old pre-existing stuff so that doesn't fall under that category but the homeowner is taking that into consideration. So we're going to uh, pause for now. They're going to get a quote on drilling a new well. And what I would like to see done, I would like them to allow me to, and raise it up, do a pump test on it for a few hours and then um, see if the well is even uh, running dry. Because if the well doesn't run dry, then we know it makes a lot of water. If the well, if the water is clean, then we know the water's clean. If it's brown and dirty and nasty and doesn't clear up, we know probably it's a good idea to drill a new well. Um, if the water runs out, we know the well runs dry. Let's go ahead and fill it in with cement. Let's abandon it and let's drill them a new well. So there's a few things that I would like to do um, in order to determine whether or not they actually need a new well. But ultimately, it's their decision. Now, if you do decommission that well and you no longer use it, the well pump has to come out of that well and it has to be filled with concrete. Mm -hmm. The reason why that has to happen is because of what you're worried about. You're worried about contamination. Mm -hmm. So if you decide to drill a new well, then if you don't decommission that well and you don't abandon it, then what you're worried about can still contaminate the groundwater and then from that well it can leach over to the new well. Mm -hmm. So that's just another thing that you have to, to think about. Mm -hmm. So not only are you going to drill a well, you're also going to abandon that well. And an abandoned well is how much? Depends on the depth and the amount of concrete that has to be put in it. But you're you know you're looking a thousand fifteen hundred bucks to abandon it. Okay. Per state requirements anyway. Mm -hmm. 
So it's probably going to end up being a new one. Okay. So do you need me to call him in the morning? The first thing you have to do is go to the health department and get you a permit for a new well. Uh -huh. Once you get you a permit, let them do their thing. They'll come out here, eyeball the property and all that. <clears throat> and then um, you bring us the permit and a deposit. And then you'll get put on our, our uh, calendar to come out here and cut you a hole. Okay, so the health department. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I just got to figure out where that's at. All right, well, I'm all done. Back in the truck, just finished making out the paperwork, bill, all that. Had to write down all the information because we don't want to lose any of that information. Um, I talked to the customer. She decided she just wants to drill a new well. Now that they've located it, they know how, you know how close they think it is from the septic field. I explained to her the only way to truly know is to have the, um, the soil specialist at the health department come out, auger down, find that last drain line, and then pull a line over to um, the well to figure out how far it is. Regardless, she just says that the well's too old, she doesn't want to use it, um, and she wants to drill a new one. So she's actually headed to the health department now to get a permit and that will actually be the direction that we're gonna head. So, I thought it was really cool that um, the the dowsing rods crossed right where that well was. That was really cool. I hope I could actually see that on camera. Um, I didn't have my other mount today. I wasn't planning on doing this today. Uh, luckily, I had my tripod with me to where I could post something up, so. But um, yeah, so just uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about today's video. And uh, if you believe in dowsing rods or if you don't believe in dowsing rods. But uh, that, was, uh, that was really cool regardless. But thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. I'm going to try to get to 100,000 this year. And I cannot do that unless you all hit that button. So the YouTube algorithm has really changed for this year. Um, I'm looking at a 70% drop in one month, which is ridiculous. Um, I was looking at 80 to 100,000 views uh, in a month and like <clears throat> now what was that typical uh, three days on a video 80 to 100,000 views now I'm getting 8 to 10,000 views don't know what don't know you know I'm not doing anything different it's just the algorithm has changed so uh, make sure y'all smash that like button because the like button and if you've made it this far in the video and commenting all those things help the algorithm and, and help my channel prosper which gives me the motivation to want to make more content so thank you all for watching i will see y'all on the next one hey look so i just left this job and this guy stopped me on the side of the road he says he watches me on youtube <laughs> i was literally just making a video and then you stopped me on the side of the road that's hey, hilarious man. And I'm telling you what, I've got a will back here that I might be interested in you doing a little bit of work on. Alright, just give us a call. I will. Cool. Have a good one. You Headed to the next job. Okay. Be good. That's epic.